to ask is what is the best time to uncover a crop? So as a reminder, we have our crops covered during the germination stage with weight on top. And the stacking here does a number of things. It makes a good use of space. It puts some pressure on the crop so when it's pushing up it strengthens the stem. It keeps the light out so things don't start to photosynthesize too early. And it puts pressure between the seed and the soil which improves germination. But at some point you need to uncover that crop. So I'm going to show you a couple quick indicators here just because they're perfect right now. So this one is wheatgrass. So what I'm looking for with wheatgrass is the grass is starting to push up the trays and there's just a little bit of grass sticking out the ends. So if you take a look, you can see a little bit of grass here on the edge, just starting to come up underneath, but not too much, just turning green. And inside, those little pieces are curved a little and about an inch long. So this is when we want to uncover our wheatgrass. By tomorrow, so this is uh, about 11 o'clock, uh, 10 o'clock in the morning. By later today, these might even be a little too much, and by tomorrow they would definitely be too much. So a quick jaunt over here to our pea. Actually, I'm going to show you the wheatgrass in the stack here. So there it is stacked. You can see it's just starting to push up and it's just poking out the edges there. So I know right away it's ready to uncover. Here's our pea. Same thing. You can see the pea is, it pushes up a little bit more. It's a little different than wheatgrass. This is the perfect amount. This one I would say is a little too much. And why is that? Because it's starting to tilt. Most of these other ones, see they're raised but still perfectly flat. So that's our indicator for P. Raised up but still flat. If it starts to tilt, what happens is these, uh, the stems start to bend. And the problem with P is the stems don't bend back. I am going to take a quick look here over to sunflower. So this sunflower is actually going to get um, uncovered tomorrow. This isn't quite where I want it, but if we take a quick peek, this could be uncovered now because stuff is mostly germinated. But I would leave this, this one gets left for another day. And the indicator for sunflower is that the stacks do start to tip. And here's one here. So this one's just a little further along than the others. It also doesn't have anything on this side. But uh, this one, one thing, it's probably where most of the others are. It really is probably the same. But by, by tomorrow morning, this is probably going to knock this off, actually. So that's my indicator for sunflower, that the top one's just about tipped right off. You can see all these are fairly uniform, so just about ready to go. So it's just a quick little tutorial on when to uncover your crops. There's some other ones here that aren't quite ready. We can take a look at that. So this, the first one I showed you was radish, actually. So if you take a quick look at this, you can see it's germinating, but hasn't really started to rise yet. And we really want that stem rise before we uncover. So once again, these are scheduled to be uncovered tomorrow. At this stage, I'd say they're just a tiny little bit behind where I'd like them, but I'm sure they'll recover by harvest day on uh, Friday. So there we go. Quick little once over on when to uncover your crops. There's a few crops we don't have in here, uh, such as arugula. So what I'll do is I'll do another video for that when I, uh, when I find one.